uh, number 11, the number two amendment act extension 2021. It's beyond comprehension, uh, Minister, that you will extend the emergency powers. Everybody's in the expectation that uh, we'll be reopening everything on the 22nd of January. Schools are back, girls are back, and the heroic effort is made, made by so many. And to think that you wanted to hold on to this power grab for another three months, kill this Christmas as well, when communities and families and, and business people have suffered so much, and they're trying to get them up their knees, and you want to introduce this. And my colleagues are complaining about three and a half hours for the language, uh, Official Languages Act, and I agree. We're only getting two hours and 20 minutes. Our group will have six and a half minutes to debate such an important, draconian measure. It just goes to show there's something deeper going on here about this whole COVID business than the health of people and the welfare of the citizens of Ireland and the business people and the people trying to carry on their work and their duty. It's an apartheid, what's going on, and this is, we're objecting to that, and I'm not at all satisfied. All right. Well, oh, no. Just Next. not acceptable. It undermines the actual reality of apartheid. Okay, um, Minister, please. I often disagree with the uh, with my colleague across the way, but but on this one, I actually don't. I mean, I think it's. Um, I think we do need to be careful with the language we use here, um, because otherwise, otherwise we start undermining what are um, um, words that describe um, issues that we need to be taking a very strong stand against, uh, and. Um, there is not something deeper going on here, Deputy. We have been, uh, we have been debating in this House, both live and remotely, um, measures that the, that the government needs to put in place to protect people in the context of COVID for 18 months now. Uh, and that continues as we remove restrictions on society. Um, and, uh, and I would re respectively suggest that you should try to work with us on that so that we can safely, safely move away from restrictions uh, towards personal responsibility uh, uh, and indeed continue to take medical and scientific advice in terms of how we do that.